The NAACP is supposed to be in the business of advancing the black community. There are so many serious problems that plague it, including black-on-black -black violence, fatherlessness, drugs, uh, guns, education problems. Why would the NAACP waste its time at its national convention focusing on non-existent racism in the Tea Party? Well, first of all, Monica, every single one of those issues, you almost just did a litany of the last 10 years of the agenda of the NAACP. All of those things are, are matters the group has taken up. Right, and none of them and, have gone away, so why are they and, wasting their time with the Tea well, Party? Well, you know, there is nothing inappropriate, I don't think, about a civil rights movement saying, hey, there is this other thing growing up out there, and we're not accusing the whole group of being racist or everybody, but under that umbrella of Tea Party, you know there have been some pretty ugly stuff where, said. Where? At, Ellis, at rallies. I've we been have, to we Tea Party. Wait a minute. I've been no, to Tea Party. Well, I've, I've not seen a shred well, of evidence, well, and there hasn't been about, any evidence that the NAACP or anybody else could provide to show that. Are you comfortable with things like billboards comparing our president to Hitler and people hurling racial epithets at congressmen and calling Barney Frank. I mean, there is some ugly stuff under that banner. I'm not saying it applies to everybody, but shouldn't civil rights groups say, hey, hold on a second, don't do that. The billboard you're referring to was put up by a Tea Party in the, right. middle in, mid in the Midwest. Horrible, the group right? self-policed and that billboard came down. Well, the sure other examples there. that you referred to, there's never been any evidence to show that. Ellis, here's the danger of what the NAACP did this week. There is is real racism in America. But what the NAACP went out there and did by attacking the Tea Party with non-existent charges of, of non-existent racism, rather, they are going down this road of boy who cried wolf, so that when real racism does come up, people are less inclined to take it seriously. Monica, that is, seriously, with all respect, that's a silly argument. I mean, this is a civil rights movement that is arguing its position in a very controversial moment with a group that is becoming increasingly powerful, and it is, its strength and its weakness in the Tea Party movement is its decentralization. There are people there for many reasons, but you know that some of that stuff is very, very ugly, and the NAACP ought to be stepping forward and saying, hey, don't behave that way. It's ugly, don't do it's that ugly stuff. when it's for real well, and it's it is, really happening. But if but you're going to slap that no, label no, on no, willy-nilly no, no. where it that's, doesn't that's exist, not that's dil that dilutes Monica, the charges and, and of Kevin, real racism. And listen, listen, folks like Kevin, who have every right to their conservative views, are so far out of the mainstream of what most black oh. citizens in this country believe. Ellis, Why are they voting 90% the Democratic? The Tea Party is no longer a movement. It is mainstream America. Well, and if they're going to go slap a label like racist on it, it hurts their own no one is doing that. They're saying, Tea Partiers, you be responsible and drive those ugly elements out.